That heat wave is going to be impacting parts of the central and south coast, and that means some elevated fire danger as well and people needing to cool off. They most definitely do. And News Channel reporter Karen Cruz Ordunia joins us right now at the end of Stearns Wharf, the end of the pier right here in Santa Barbara with more on what we all need to do to prevent any fire dangers in the area and how we can all stay <laughs> cool. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Joey and Elise. That's right. Well, right now we are experiencing some marine layer. I was trying to take a peek out here by the pier here in Stearns Wharf, but I can't really see anything because of the marine layer. The visibility is pretty low at this time. If you can go ahead and take a look here, we are at the end of the pier, like Joey said, at Stearns Wharf, and you can go ahead and take a look and see. Well, that visibility is very low. And you do feel some debris, and it's very chilly right now, but temperatures are expected to change because of that incoming heat wave and let me go ahead and give you a closer look about this heat wave basically this a long heat wave will do much more than make you sweat. It will bring critical fire danger to our community, which is a risk. And UCLA climate scientist Daniel Swain projected this. He says it will be hot enough for, for long enough this week for fires to really take off because of historic winter and spring rainfall were created. Lots of new growth of vegetation across the region and this kind of heat can very quickly dry it out. Especially at lower elevations, uh, early in the season when it remains wet and cool, and then we get a prolonged mid or late season heat event or multiple prolonged heat events later in the season, you could still dry all of that extra vegetation out and cause a significantly active fire season despite how cool and moist it's been. Fire departments in our area are warning people to be extremely careful outdoors, especially around a dry bush as always. As for our local area, you can go ahead and take a look and see right now, you will see that marine layer just impacting our area here in Santa Barbara. And even your driving conditions, it's very important to drive with lots of caution and use those low beam lights because that visibility is really low right now, but that will change as we go into the day today by the afternoon hopefully this will burn off as for temperatures they are expected to increase for today but we'll have Mackenzie Lake to dive right in for that forecast for you but for here though in Santa Barbara there are multiple ways to stay cool one way is to actually come inside here later today at the Stearns Wharf baked and tackle and really enjoy those cool conditions inside because their air conditioners are expected in that air inside but you can also go to the beach you can also enjoy some ice cream you can also even go and surf and really enjoy the beautiful waters out here but for now joey and elise i will tag out live in santa barbara i'm news channel reporter karen cruz Orduña.